nuevos amigos. Welcome to today's lesson. It's good to see you. In our last lesson, we learned about animales en la granja, animals on the farm. Did you practice asking cuántos son? How many are there? And replying with the answer, I, with the number in Spanish? You did? I'm glad to hear it. Today we will look at animales that live in water or near it. I think we'll have a lot of fun. So let's begin and sing our hello song. Hola, amigo. Hola, amiga. Hola. There are so many interesting kinds of animales in the world. Many of these animales you won't see unless you go to a special place called an aquarium. An aquarium is a place where you can see many kinds of fish and other types of animales that live near the water. The word for water in Spanish is agua. Listen as I say it for you again. Agua. Repeat after me. Agua. Say it again with me. Agua. Very good. At the aquarium, you can see fish. In Spanish, one fish is a pez. Say pez after me. Pez. Say it again. Pes. Bien. If there are many fish, then we say peces. We have peces in a basket on the shelf. Let's learn how to say peces. Listen. Peces. Peces. Repeat after me, nuevos amigos. Peces. Say it again with me. Peces. So one fish is a pez, many fish are peces. Nuevos amigos, let's look at some fish. When you see the picture, tell me in Spanish if it is a fish by itself, pez, or many fish, peces. Pez. Pez. Peces. Pez. Peces. Peces. Muy bien, nuevos amigos. You are catching on so quickly. I'm very pleased. I thought the different kinds of fish we just saw were beautiful, didn't you? Tell me again in Spanish. What do peces live in? Si, sí, el agua. Fish live in water. There are other types of animals that live in or near el agua. Water can include the ocean, a lake, a river, a pond, or even an aquarium. Can you think of other animales that live near or in el agua? An animal that lives near el agua that swims, dives, and flies is the duck. The word for duck in Spanish is pato. Pato. Say it after me. Pato. Now say it with me. Pato. Una vez más. Pato. Muy bien. Another animal that lives near el agua is the turtle. A turtle moves slowly on land, but in the water it can move faster. It can swim and dive too. The word for turtle in Spanish is tortuga. I'll say it again, tortuga. Now say the parts of the word after me. Tor, tu, 
ga. Let's say all the parts of the word together. Tortuga. Excelente. There is an island in the Caribbean Sea that is called Isla Tortuga or Turtle Island. Long, long ago, Isla Tortuga was a hideout for pirates and their treasure. Now it's time to visit with Coco and discover the new color for today. Hola, Coco. ¿Cómo está? Hola, señorita Garcia. I'm doing well. Hola, domas amigos. I've been thinking about going on a treasure hunt. When Señorita Garcia talked about the pirates on Isla Tortuga, it made me think of gold. Gold is a metal, but it's also a color. The word in Spanish for the color gold is dorado. Dorado is our color for today. Look! Mira! I have some coins made of chocolate that are covered in gold. Let's look at these things that are the color gold. Dorado. 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 Amigos, look around my classroom. Can you see anything that is gold, dorado? Look carefully. Meet my new pet, Quique. Es un pez dorado. He is a goldfish. I thought it would be fun to bring him with me today since he is an animal that lives in El Agua. Hola, Kike! Let's learn how to say dorado. Repeat after me. Dorado. Say it again with me. Dorado. Now say it by yourselves. Muy bien. Let's look at some more animales. See if you can name them in Spanish. Yo veo un pez. Yo veo una rana. Yo veo una tortuga. Yo veo un pato. Yo veo un tiburón. Nuevos amigos, ¿cuántos animales nombraste? How many animals did you name? Tres, el pez, la tortuga y el pato. I like looking at the animales. Amigos, if you want to say you like something in Spanish, you would say, me gusta, which means I like it. Me gusta. Say the sentence after me. Me gusta. Me gusta. Say it with me. Me gusta. Excelente. That's easy to say, isn't it? Let's practice saying, me gusta. I'll show you pictures of things in the park I like, and we can say, me gusta together. Me gusta. Me gusta. Me gusta. Me gusta. Now, when you want to say you don't like something in Spanish, you would say, no me gusta. I don't like it. No me gusta. Add the Spanish word no 
at the beginning of the sentence. No me gusta. I don't like it. No me gusta. Say no me gusta with me. No me gusta. Let's say it again. No me gusta. Very good. I like going to the pond at the park. Me gusta. But sometimes I see things I don't like. I see water pollution and trash. No me gusta. I'll show you some pictures of things I've seen in the park I don't like. And we can practice saying no me gusta together. No me gusta. No me gusta. No me gusta. No me gusta. Good job, nuevos amigos. You've learned so much Spanish. I like teaching you a new language. Me gusta. In a moment, we will hear a new song about a pececito, a little fish. Now it's time to do a little review about the number 10. 10, 10. The number 10 looks like this. 10, 10. Let's review the number 10, nuevos amigos. First, let's say 10 together. 10. One more time. Diez. Muy bien. Last time, we counted diez pennies and put them in the rosado piggy bank. Let's look at our number train and count the engine and cars together, beginning with cero. Cero. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. Siete. Ocho, nueve, diez. We spent some time looking at fish earlier, so I asked some of Kike's amigos to join us as we practice counting. I'll sing a counting song and the peces dorados will help us. Uno little, dos little, tres little goldfish. Cuatro little, cinco little, seis little goldfish. Siete little, ocho little, nueve little goldfish. Diez little goldfish swimming. Me gusta la canción. I like the song. Let's sing it one more time. Vamos a cantarla una vez más. Uno little, dos little, tres little goldfish. Cuatro little, cinco little, seis little goldfish. Siete little, ocho little, nueve little goldfish. Diez little goldfish swimming. Nuevos amigos, I think you've learned the number diez quite well. I'm so proud of your counting skills. The diamond is a shape with two corners stretched tight. Diamante. It has four sides and can look like a kite. Diamante. You can see it in jewelry or tiles on the floor. Diamante. A pattern on your socks or the glass on a door. Diamante. Did you look for the shape of the diamante this week while you were doing your daily activities, nuevos amigos? Buen trabajo. Let's practice pronouncing diamante together. Say it with me. Diamante. One more time. Diamante. Excelente. Take your dedo mágico and draw the shape of a diamante in the air with me. Start at the top. It's finished. There. Diamante. I'm a pesticito, I can swim. Here is my tail and here are my fins. 
When I went to have fun with my friends, I wiggle my tail and dive right in. In today's lesson, we learned about the kinds of animals that live in the water, like fish, and those that live near the water, like ducks and turtles. We learned the name for water, agua. We discovered that one fish is called pes, and that many fish are called peces. We practiced saying pes and peces as we looked at pictures of fish. Then we learned the name for a duck, pato, and the name for a turtle, tortuga. Coco showed us the color dorado, gold, and we looked at things that have the color gold, like the gold coins he showed us. You learned how to say me gusta, I like it, and no me gusta, I don't like it, as we looked at scenes in the park and saw the things that were beautiful, like the water, and things that were ugly, like the trash and pollution that make things dirty. We reviewed the number 10 and sang a little counting song with the help of some friendly fish. We also looked at the shape of a diamante again and drew it in the air with our dedos magicos. Finally, we heard a funny song about a little fish, un pececito. We've had a busy day today, and you've done a super job. Hicieron un super trabajo. Remember to practice saying your new vocabulary words and new sentences. Me gusta and no me gusta this week. I hope you enjoyed learning all about water animals as much as I did, Nuevos Amigos. We've come to the end of our lesson today, Nuevos Amigos, and it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our adios song together. And remember that when you learn a new language, you also make new friends. Adios, Nuevos Amigos. <laughs>